Hey guys, this is Cafe doing a um, module review video, uh, or module focus as I call them. This one, much like my previous one, uh, this one is in relation to a monk's um, module. This one is monk's token bar. That is this thing down here, which you can see. Kind of, yeah. Uh, we'll go through that. So you can, again, it's, it's, I don't think it's a massive game changer, but I, it's a quality of life thing, especially for a DM, I think. Um, it can be enabled for players. I don't think it's... It would be nice if players have access a bit more, because I believe currently they have access to see only their own token. But either way, um, what I'll do, show you a bit more of that, I will pop my current party onto the table so you can see what well, the canvas and they can see how this looks. Uh, so, um, first thing is, it, you can, there is an option on here to allow certain tokens to appear, uh, which is really useful. So if you have like a constant NPC with a party, you can allow them to be shown in this tracker. Uh, these at the top, I believe by default, hit points and passive perception are shown. Uh, I have it to show, um, oh, sorry, no, uh, it's um, AC and passive perception. I like showing hit points so I can quickly see uh, an idea of how the party are doing without having to right click and stuff. So, but that can be edited by this option here. You can see you can literally have infinity, it just spreads upwards. So you can put on there whatever attributes you want. You just need to know the um, like the pathway for it, uh, which you can see on here. It's pretty much what they are. Um, I like having those three because I can quickly see. Okay, here's passive, here's AC, and here's um, hit points. Nice and quick. Uh, next thing is notify uh, of movement. So these options down here, you can see. So you've got free movement no movement, and combat turn. What you can do with Monk's um, tokens. I am not already. A token bar, that's the one. Um, you can determine and give players a pop-up to say that your movement's been limited. So if you want to make sure that when you enter into a combat situation, which is when the combat tracker, uh, when you begin a combat and a combat tracker, you get a pop-up saying um, movements change to um, combat. What that means is it will not let them move their full range. They can't just move tokens wherever they want to. It will only allow them to move basically their distances. Um, you can change those. So free movement allows everything. No movement obviously stops them from moving at all. And then combat movement means they can move their speed as per their character sheets. XP dialogue. Um, if you use XP, when you end a combat, what will happen is you can make it so you get a pop up, and that pop up tells you this is how much XP you get for these monsters. And you can see here, you can choose to automatically divide it between party members in various different ways. So, not at all, amongst all of them equally, or larger share to lower character, larger share to high character. Um, Wisp on level up, so you can um, give a whisper to the player to tell them they've leveled up. The resource bars, uh, which I believe is this at the bottom. Um, so you can see I've got here a little green bar at the bottom to show like the hit points. Uh, portrait, you can choose either the token image or actor portrait if they are different. Uh, I tend to use a similar one for each, just with border, obviously. Uh, you can see here again, like chain movement to combat when combat starts. Uh, allow movement after turn. Uh, you can, after combat, you can set it back to being one of them. So when it ends, it'll automatically flip it back to being like free movement, or if you want to say people can't move immediately. Uh, there's the option to put a moving button on the combat tracker. And it tells you what mode of movement you're in. I don't really feel the need to on that one. Because I go into combat, I know which way it's going to be. Um, so this is 
uh, this option is useful for people who have like summon creatures. Uh, it allows you to access all of them. So when you have like the limited combat movement on, so I believe one of the options on here is to limit people uh, from moving when it's not their turn. Uh, this will allow that character, if they own that token, to have access and move it freely. Um, this again, uh, what you can do, uh, the items you give creatures, you can automatically have it populate uh, into a menu. So when you end the combat, it will pop up uh, and say, do you want to make these creatures lootable? Uh, this works if you have the loot sheet module. Um, and only if that works. But what happens is if you do that, it will take their character sheet and take it from being whatever sheet you're using into a loot sheet, which means like if you have long swords or arm on there, those automatically become something the player can pick up, uh, which is quite nice. Uh, again, you can have players use it. You can disable it entirely if you want to. You can delete message after grab. Uh, you can share a little menu. You can show people have inspiration. I think I use with that in. Excuse me. I thought I had that in uh, text. So what do you now? And then you also have these two little options here. So this one is request a role. This one's a contested role. So request roll is quite literally, it is similar in this regards to let me roll that for you. You can say I would like, okay, I don't want Brillo to be involved, I want these two, and I want extra saving throw. And you just get request. You can see it pops into chat, um, tells you who's in it, and then it gives the DM the option to roll for all NPCs or to roll for all characters. Either way, you tick, um, gives you a roll, there you go, tells you which is which, uh, it tells you it's public, tells you like if you're doing a group roll, um, grab that message, and then you can take it to say that one's passed, that one's failed, and mark it like that. I haven't investigated this part particularly much. Um, I still use Let Me Roll Up for you for a lot of this kind of role. Because uh, it links very well into MIDI QL. I haven't looked into how much Monks works with it. Um, but it is useful. And then you can do Contested as well. So if you want to, I believe on this, if you go... I think it's select the ones you want involved. Yeah, so you, if you select the ones you want, and then you go, okay, let's make a trip roll, request. And you can hear that um, noise. That gives you a, a little indication there is a roll being requested. And again, roll as usual. And it shows you here, um, it's a contested roll. You see here that start my and if you click on it it does tell you what you rolled the only thing i don't like is it doesn't show you the modifier so it's down to you to know what the modifier is bit of a shame be nice to have the option to hide a modifier if you didn't want it save like npcs um but for like players it's quite nice to be able to click on it but you can see those rolls and it yeah gives you a nice little dialogue to say contested and what you rolled um that's pretty much it for it. There's not really much else to it. Uh, like I said, it is a little quality of life module. I think it's pretty fun. It gives you some nice little options. Uh, especially with GM, it can keep track. Um, so you can see, so you can see here, look, actually, actually, this character, uh, this stat might, is not added to the tracker. Um, so you can see here, I can go to include. And here it goes. So yeah, which is the easy way you can do it with NPC. So as a DM, if you wanted everything on there, you could go through and just go, yeah, include and do this, and it will show. Uh, just bear in mind, obviously, it stretches rightwards, uh, but this is movable, so you can move it to wherever you want to. I quite like having it 
ده که بداخل آب تالین است و ما موجو پاپ اپ سن سو فور فرم ون پلیس لیو ان دس اسپیس وی فور ایکسپانشن او کامبات ٹریکر ان کم سو لیو جی شیر دی کامبات ٹریکر پاپ اس وول جس پاپ اپ ویز فور ان کامبات سو یو سی ہیر وول فور اول یا Uh, so you uh, see here, that's, yeah, that yellow banner that uh, tells you that movement is moved gone to combat. You can see it's automatically flipped there. Uh, as for the previous module, you got these up. Um, I showed you uh, Monk's little details. These two work really well together. Uh, I believe one of Monk's options is to give this little like turn pop up, which I absolutely love. Uh, telling you whose turn it is, I think that's really useful. Not sure if it is, but I think it is. If not, it tells you to start the round start. Yeah, he's kind of moved through. So if start might try to move off of there. I think some of it won't work on the DM, but if a player tried to move their characters, it would stop them. It wouldn't let them move outside of their turn. Um, but yeah, let's kind of skip through them. And if we go end combat, we'll see again, change the free movement, and it has indeed changed the free movement. Uh, if I had the other options uh, ticked, um, you would see like a pop up saying, Here's this creature. Just show you those. Just so you have an idea of what it looks like. In spell. Uh, so let's go for a dialogue. Uh, make a convertible. So, what we'll do now is let's pull through a couple of things. Let's pull through a uh, we'll do a skeleton. What oh, skeleton? Uh, let's go for humanoid. Who else is going to have some stuff? A thug. Okay. So, if we now go to here, you can see here. Because there's been rolls made, it flags it up for me. But if I go to begin combat, see here. Let's just expand this down so you can see what's going on. What do you want to do? There we go. Right. right. But yeah, so if we just. And I quickly skip through. And if I end the combat, you'll see. First of all, you can see here, it tells you uh, convert to the lootables. Sign gold by CR. I can remove them, so if I don't want to give people gold, I can do that. Um, and you can have like gold. Record on stuff. I go, okay, well, this guy has 20 gold pieces, and this guy has 5 gold pieces. I don't think that'll be in there. You see, you go lootable. What's happened now is they've now become lootable creatures. So a player can go, okay, I've got the stuff on there. Uh, everything's what it's worth, and this is another module. Um, and if I had the CR set up properly, it would have um, populated the combat based on the CR and stuff. We would see like a, an active CR option, but yeah, it's really useful. Uh, again, it's a little quality of life thing for people, not big, uh, doesn't make 
wide sweeping changes to everything, like a big UI change or anything. But it's nice. It's a nice little feature. Um, all right, I hope you enjoy that. And um, please like, subscribe, and do all that fancy stuff which people shill on their videos. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. And see you soon. Bye.